Hi. Okay. Then. <laughs> and welcome. Uh, good one. Well, I mean, it's good. My name's Eric. And I'm Adrian. And, this and he's ashamed of me. Yeah. Most of the time. Uh, this is Party Couch. And we're playing Borderlands 2, 2. And you will probably mostly play this because it's a game you enjoy very much. I do. Yeah. Even though you don't like FPS games. Well, this I is, one this is not where I uh, shoot as much. I more just activate my special ability where I run around and hit people. It's an. It's. It's not shoot as much, isn't this like the mo one of the most shooty shooters there are? Well, I don't play that class. Uh -huh. My special build is basically I to pick up a axe. axe called a meat bicycle and run around and hit people. Okay, okay, okay. And I have the Xbox mapping with a PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah. This is gonna be very frustrating. Yeah. Even PC games are like, hey, you know, Xbox is better. <laughs> if you're gonna play with a controller, at least do the Xbox. No, I I think no. it's more like, I don't know. Okay. So well, yeah, we have some things to talk about today. Uh, one of them is uh, Jurassic World. Oh right. The second I one is I coming out. I don't think out. I'm gonna say that is, uh, on the cinema. Not? No. I want to see. I that mean, the too. first one was okay. It was. It had some laughable points. I. I'd say, but it was okay. I didn't watch that for the comedy though. No, I mean not laughable as intentionally laughable. Oh, like the ending. Such as the ending. You remember the T-Rex and the Velociraptor at the end? Uh, oh, like, like I was like, oh, cheesy. oh, they're friends now. That's great. Yeah, that was that was really like <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah, but it was supposed to be like. There's no way they had the slow motion effect and the uh, like and the hero music if if they didn't intend for it to be. Cheesy as hell. But I don't. The thing is, I don't really don't think it was supposed to be cheesy. Yeah, it was. It was no, definitely. No. Yeah, no. Uh, definitely. This uh. this is Hollywood. They know what the fuck they're doing. Really. They spend so much money and so much time on this. There's no way they added a simple slow mo, and a hero music and a raw from their raptor if they didn't intend for it to be cheesy. I call that a clusterfuck. An enjoyable cheesy, I would say. Because I laughed and thought it, I thought it was... Oh my god, this Shit. is so funny. But stupid How funny. do I melee? Like the thing with the freaking... Ah. Uh, when the woman dies like 50 times. <laughs> oh, that was... Like, it, wa it was cheesy. That was hilarious. But it's funny because it's so fucking cheesy. Oh, I don't know how to play with this controller. Uh, no. you... No, no, no. Uh, other, oh, yeah. Oh, there we point. go. And uh, then it's... Uh, the Should e we lower e the... Volume? Yeah. Holy shit, yes. Uh, could you go get the... I don't know where you put it. Like this, actually. Uh, oh, do you... God, the volume. I have everything I want. Uh, go get the, the control. It's over there. Here? Oh. Yeah. Play so I can hear. So yeah, as you can see, I run on a, I run around and hit things. Oh yeah, Borderlands, the newest of the games. Do you think it will be Borderlands? Oh, I oh I look forward to Borderlands, Borderlands 3. Yes. On e E3. I really hope so. Yeah, I yeah, the, it's been uh, it's a possibility. They they did that one like tech demo or something. Really. Of Borderlands oh, 3. Oh yeah, 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 that one. Uh, yeah. And it looked like all the other Borderlands, but uh, yeah, they, that's something they have been working on. So it's probably going oh, to be. I look forward show. to it. I really, I love the other games. Yeah. Especially this one. This is my favorite. I've this played the second one. Uh, yeah. Have you played the uh, pre? pre <laughs> I have the prequel, pre sequel, yes. Pre sequel. I have uh, all of them except the first one. Or rather, I've Doesn't played the pre-sequel 
become the second part of the story. Yes, it's the, it goes first, pre-sequel, uh, sequel, sequel. no one. wait, no, no, no tell, the Telltale game takes place after no. this, the, this one, yes. After yeah. Oh yeah, it Tales takes place after. Takes place after. But uh, Jack, uh, have some Jack is dead. Yeah. Doesn't right. uh, the game share a story? It's like muted now, you know. Yeah. Well. Do you yeah, want it to is. Hear? Yeah, all of the games have the same story. Yeah, but the Tales from the Borderlands is is its own. No. No. Huh? It has to have some handsome Jack, man. Come on. Yeah, is, which is you he kill in this game. Yeah, but is he the story, or what's the story that surrounds all three games or four games? The story is about Vault. You, uh, it's about Vault Hunter. The first game didn't really have a story. It was like, oh, you're you can shoot from these classes. You uh, you ha it's a ton of guns. Go do this side quest and kill some people. Mm. That's the first game. The second game, they more okay. People like this game. We should add a story with an amazing villain. Hence, Handsome Jack. Mm. And then came I don't rem I don't remember. Came uh, Tales from the Borderlands first or Borderlands uh, came after pre sequel. Okay, I believe. God damn it! Uh, so yeah, and then. <laughs> yeah, take your time. I just have to kill this bastard, okay? No, so, and then they were like, oh, let's expand Jack's backstory with the pre-sequel, because the pre-sequel is basically about how Jack became a villain. He's one of the main characters there. Yeah, I played it. You did? Wasn't, yeah, I played all except uh, Minecraft. All Telltale games no, except I, I'm the I'm talking about the pre-sequel. Oh, okay, yeah. That I haven't played. That's, the, that's Jack's backstory. Mm. The Tales from the Borderlands is oh, yeah. what happens after Jack is dead. Yeah. He kind of connects all games except the first one. Yeah, I, I, but the fact that they can't let him go... Well, he is technically dead now. Yeah, but he... Twice. Yeah, and it's sort of like, come on, he's dead. Just move on. Make something new. Yeah, uh, I bet they could make an, another great villain. Maybe not as great as Jack, because even in Tales of the Borderlands, he was amazing. Yeah. You can't deny that. I didn't really like Tales from the Borderlands. Really? No. Hey, it was, it's one of my favorites. Favorite tale of Telltale? Yeah. Huh. It's, uh, yeah. I've only played free, so. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't enjoy it, really. Mm. I felt the joke, none of the jokes landed with me. I was just. Really? Like, oh, well. There are many and references to, be to the other Borderlands games. Well, there's like this one scene when they're where 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 they're like, bro, bro. Oh yeah, bro, that. Bro. And I'm like, this is so cheesy and stupid. Well, think like, of well, the, that's, the how the, that's how the that's how the from Jurassic that's how the world girl like the, would tell the story. What? The, you know the uh, what, what 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 was her name? The one with the hat. I don't. know. <laughs> the one with the, the female character. Yeah. At le anyway, she told that story, and, and uh, oh yeah, yeah. And that was that was how she Im she wanted to make fun of. Yeah, I know. I get what was supposed to be funny, but yeah. it wasn't funny. Is what I'm saying. I thought it was kind of funny. I didn't laugh. Like that's that's more cheesy than a raptor in. Jurassic yeah, it, it's so it. much more cheesy, but it's in. It's not. That's but super intentional cheesy. I mean, if the, if you say the raptor was intentionally cheesy, yeah. that's like a whole different level of intentional. <laughs> uh, the, well, I I I would assume it's either intentional or not unintentional, and it's but uh, yeah, sure, uh, it's I uh, cheesier, I would say. Yeah, it's m so much cheesier. Uh, but and uh, in a bad kind of way. <laughs> and then there were. There was one one point that was funny, mm -hmm. and that's because I chose it to be funny because I'm like, oh, this is the build up to a good joke, okay. and so I made it. And that's uh, a part when you're you're being ca you're captured by this God damn it. by this guy. I died. You know, yeah. the one with one eye, and uh, you're walking, and then the male. The one character. with one eye. Yeah, he only has one big red eye. Oh right, right. And, uh, before you know the one when yeah, they yeah, talk. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. And uh, they wa they're walking, and the male character is like, "Hey, we're gonna run, okay? We run and we zigzag so he can't shoot us." All right. And uh, 
I was like, and then as the female character, I was like, yeah, no. sure, sure. Yeah, th- we're gonna do that. Yeah. And then I intentionally didn't run, <laughs> so that so that he would look like an idiot. And then he's running back and forth like, yeah. a, I run, run, run. And she's just walking, and the guy holding us captive is like, what the hell is he doing? Yeah, I and I'm like, I have no idea. He's an idiot. And I was like, but that's a joke. That, sure, it's made in the game, but if I hadn't chosen that, it wouldn't have been any funny. Yeah, that part was funny. Let's yeah. just say that. But I chose it to be funny, so yeah, to yeah, speak, yeah. as well. Um, but other than that, uh, well, actually, the the boss, the fi- uh, boss, the the villain uh, of um, the, the game, uh, the one playing by uh, the guy from Family Guy, who's Joe guy in the wheelchair. Family? Oh, the one who played Kronk in Kronk. Uh, 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 w- w- Empress New Clothing. In Emperor's New Cloth oh thing, God. the movie. That's a, that's he how looks I, like a character. That's yeah, how I I'm remember him. Guy he, in, yeah, he's the yeah, big guy. Yeah, he looks like a, someone that guy would voice. That yeah, actor ah, yeah, would yeah. voice. That, so I'm gonna say yeah. yes, that's the guy. Yeah. Uh, his character Ooh. is kind of funny. He, he's like, really uh, funny. That voice is just so perfect. Yeah, and he does comedy oh, really well. Like yeah. when uh, when uh, your um, a friend doesn't have his shirt on. Mm. He's super ripped. <laughs> and, uh, that is uh, kind of uh, disturbing. His name was Vasquez, I remember. Oh yeah, Vasquez. And he's like, fuck, fuck, he's fuck, like fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, super a super gun at them, like, and then then it's like, could you just put on a shirt? I'm like super uncomfortable by your manliness. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, by your ripped chest. I mean, damn. <laughs> God, man, put on a shirt. <laughs> God, that was kind of funny. And then he's gonna execute you, and he's like. How the I fuck bought do a I turn super, off the safety? super ultra mega killing weapon. How do I, I turn have off no the idea safety? how to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> and that was kind of funny. Like, but yeah. that's the only three funny jokes out of the whole game. Really? What I really enjoyed about Tales from the Borderlands. You don't. You didn't like ja- uh, Handsome Jack in it. I don't remember him being. Did I mean, you? T- did you? Did you? Nothing bef- that I. Did laughed. you befriend him? I don't even see. I don't remember him barely. I remember him. And if uh, I barely remember him, I remember Vasquez That's more sad. than I remember a handsome. Well, ha- well, Vasquez was a great villain. Yeah. But you haven't played the second game. A prequel, right? sequel. This game. This game? No, I haven't played yeah, any of the th- games. And he's and he's better in this it. one, I can say. Oh, yeah. Um, God. God, Tales from the Borderlands. Yeah. I I uh, w- this is I could talk about tel- uh, Telltale games all day. Uh, did you see that the the final season of the Walking Dead trailer was released? No. Oh, you didn't see that. I haven't played any of the Walking Dead games. And you have watched the it on first, YouTube. Uh, then, the first episode of the first season I played. Uh, I've watched the first and second season, but yeah. nothing else. Okay. Yeah. I I thought it was like just uh, it, they're good games. Yeah, but. It felt like the TV series, at the, after a while. Wait, after a while in like season Le- two? After a while in season two, yeah. Okay, because I would easily say that season one is much better than any season of the TV show, even the good seasons well, of the so TV season show. Well, season season one was great. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? Will, the black guy. The black. The, the Lee. Guy, Lee, yeah, thank you. Wait, were you thinking about Will Smith? No, I just thinking of something about. I didn't. I didn't know what his. I had, didn't remember his name. So I was like, uh, Will, whatever. So yeah, he yeah. was a great character. <laughs> yeah. He was a great character. Uh, you, you're not doing great. Uh, the thing is, I am. But they one shot me, and I one shot them, and then I kill myself because I hit myself in the head, so many times. Oof. Uh, Lee, he's a great character. Yeah, yeah that's what. You, I, there's so many great characters throughout. Like season two had uh, a villain Carver. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He was really good. Wait, Carver. Yeah. He's played by Michael Madsen. I don't know do you much know of Michael Madsen. Do you know who it is? I think he made a documentary. No, that. Uh, 
that's Michael Moore. No, I don't you, know. I don't know Michael Madsen. Then. He's uh, he he is in many of Quentin Tarantino's films. Uh, he's like he's. Uh, uh, God, I don't remember who he who he played in Reservoir Dogs, but he did I the tortures. I haven't seen Reservoir Dogs. Okay. Uh, God, um, uh, Hateful Eight. You have seen? Yeah. Okay, he's the guy. God, that eats candy. Oh, there's one God, guy that like eats candy, a pole of candy. He's not Ca the depressing one, is he? The one who's going home to mama. No. No, he he's like he's flirting with the blonde uh, woman there. That was a blonde woman. <laughs> Dude, I've only seen it once. Okay. Me too. <laughs> And I don't remember much from it. I remember everything. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, well, Michael Matz, he has an incredible voice. That uh, I can believe. Like, uh, this really Fine. dark and raspy voice. Yeah, yeah. Or deep. And uh, it's... In the, uh, him, him as a villain is just great. And uh, when I played when I played season one, I was like, I'm going to protect Clementine. She's mm. not going to get hurt at all. Mm. And then season two, I was like... Um, I decided that I wanted Clementine to be a cold-hearted murderer. Not the way you raised her, man. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. I was like, be good, be or do your best. I, I, in season one, I focused on teaching her how to survive mm. and also treated her very well. Yeah, yeah. But uh, in season two, she's, since she's alone and everyone she has ever cared about is dead, I wanted her to be... Uh, uh, hateful to the world because of it basically mm. uh, so I made sure I made sure she would kill and steal and take what she needed because survival was the one thing she had left survival of, of the fist fittest uh, yeah you could say that definitely and she um, and no and that's one is fitter than her yeah and that's yeah you know I wanted what what what's best for surviving she will choose mm. and so uh, when Carver dies in season two, you get the choice. I don't remember who Carver is. That's that's the, that's the problem. Bad. Yeah. Can you please describe him? Uh, Kenny beats him to shit with a crowbar. He owns this big warehouse. And yes, I remember that he, he be Kenny beats someone and all that, but I don't remember him. Uh, the first time. Ah. Uh, Why? I'm trying. Like, like. What's impressive about him is it, there's not like a particular thing he did that you remember him by. Carver, it's Carver. O just the dialogue he and the way he said things and the way he saw the world. That what's what the, what was impressive and uh, scary about him was when you just were sitting and talking to him because you felt like he he his he's dysfunctional in a way. He's like. He's the way, and that's what's so was so cool was that I I just made Clementine into this cold-hearted killer basically, mm. and then Carver comes and he's like that, and he's like, and he throughout the game he will he called me like, oh you're a, you're you you'll survive this, you will be the one to last us all, you're the next generation of humans, and I was like, I chose this. And now I'm like the bad asshole uh, villain guy tells me that <laughs> I that I'm a good person, <laughs> and I'm like, maybe I sh should change. <laughs> like this, uh, I didn't want her to be evil, just necessary survivalist basically. And um, so in season three, if you you have not, no. you said you didn't. I uh, haven't seen that. No, no. Uh, I uh, you don't play as Clementine if you don't know. You play as another guy, and I played him as a really, really good character. And so he, in season three, I made it so he influenced Clementine to becoming a more good and uh, good-hearted person, basically. Yeah. So she'd care about other people as well as herself. Hey, uh, look at that weapon. Uh, yeah. Guess what it does? Explosive damage. It shoots swords. That explodes, ah. creating more swords that explode. Wow, I'm that sounds intense. I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> I I like to see this. If only I can remember how to bring up the menu. There we go. Uh, continue explaining. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so in season four, uh, 
the trailer was very like it looks really good like it sounded more cool when you said what it, it really did, did I know. and now I'm looking at it and I'm like yeah. but if you look at, at it closely there are swords yeah but still like it sounded cooler when you said it I know it. I know <laughs> um, but in season 4 it looks impressive it looks uh, like they're going like they're putting a lot of effort into character and dialogue and visuals even yeah yeah um, but uh a Telltale game, the most recent I played was Batman Season 2. Ah, yeah. Which came out, I don't know, a few months ago. And it was surprisingly good. Really? Yeah, I was like, this is so much fun. And well, every choice feels important. And I realized that the final episode is actually two episodes. Really? Or you can play, depending on all the choices you make, the final episode of the Season 2 is can be two entirely different episodes huh uh, some events happening could be the same but other than that they are it's like two different episodes completely or there can be similar oh. um, which I really enjoyed and uh, you 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 befriend Joker what so you like you <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? yeah and that's the best as part Batman yeah or no as Bruce Wayne and as Batman, in a way. Wait, 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 wait. You can teach him how to throw batarangs. <laughs> but that's, wait, that's so great. What? Like, isn't the Joker crazy in that game? Yeah, but you, that's the thing. You're, you, uh, who doesn't like the Joker? I, you know? I love the Joker. So when you talk to him, you're like, I'm not going to be an asshole. Because he tries to be your friend. He's like a fan. He's like a crazy fan, in a way. Fuck? So as, as uh, for example, as uh, Bruce Wayne, he's like... How should I be around Harley Quinn so she'll like me? So you're giving him dating tips, uh, s t how to uh, get together with Harley, and so you're like, just be yourself, Joker, <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. But as Batman, you're like teaching him how to throw batarangs. But wait, why did? How how come you get to befriend him? Uh, in season one, uh, you uh, get. Uh, put in Arkham Asylum where you meet him for the first time and he helps you escape so you owe him a favor oh and then God. in season 2 as Bruce Wayne you uh, have to um, repay that favor oh my God. but it's it, and it's really good like really good choices really good dialogue really f great characters like Joker especially really good uh, one of the best uh, like top 3 Jokers like number 1 Heath Ledger? Mark Hamill, oh, of number course, yeah. two Heath Ledger, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. him. Okay. I would say. Really? Yeah. I think that's I think that's fair. Yeah. He did a really good job and I'm like Who's who's voicing him? It's an impressionist impersonator, I mean. Whoa. He or he he's a guy that put up YouTube videos of him doing imper impersonations of Heath Ledger's Joker and Mark Hamill's Joker and such. And then Telltale was like, you know what? You're fucking good. We're going to put you in the game. I like money. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, and so they they took him and they... It's a game that I would actually like to watch you play. To see how you huh. treat Joker and Harley Quinn and all these characters. Because well, it now that you just spoil it for me, I would probably do well, the same anyways. You become friends in season one. So oh, really? oh, then I have to play season one. No, season one is not good. That's why season I two... I played a episode of season one. You did? Yeah, you wanted me to play the first one. Oh, okay. Well, season one was bad. Like, the glitchiest Telltale game out there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, season two, that's why season two was so unexpected. Because I was like, I buy all Telltale games except Minecraft. So uh, I need to buy <laughs> you this. You have to say that every time. Yeah, because it's important to know. God, I'm gonna die. Even though season one wasn't good, I was like, I have to buy season two, uh, and so I did, and it was. I'm gonna die, man. I lied. I had to continue. It's a good game. <laughs> really good game. Continue. No, I don't know. Not not. Did I have anything else to say there? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I can if we since I'm still on fucking Telltale, I might as well add 
one of the games that they made that is actually pretty good is Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, I played the first season. Yeah, I uh, I took it to or we played it through my Steam on your computer one day, I think. Well, I shared it. You shared it with me, so I played yeah. it on my own. That's how I played. Well, it. I wasn't with you. Well, that's boring. Anyway, uh, it's a game where. That's how I played Wo Wolf Among Us as well. You didn't. You weren't. Playing. Yeah, but you had already watched Wolf Among Us, so there was. No, I didn't. I, didn't, I hadn't. You. I didn't watch Wolf Among Us before I played it. You didn't? No. Are you sure? A hundred percent. I thought it looked boring when I watched it. Yeah. And then I played it, and, and I was like, "This is the best Telltale game ever." Mm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I I told you that you had to play it. Yeah, and I was, and then I played it the first time, New Year's Eve, two thousand sixteen. I have no fucking idea. Uh, One of them. Yeah. And I was like. Oh damn! Season two is coming out next yeah, year. Yeah, so I love it. Oh my god. Um, but uh, maybe it's on E3. Ooh, Telltale's gonna have a hope. panel. I'm let's I'm thinking it's gonna be focused on The Walking Dead. Probably. But uh, maybe hopefully they'll have some of The Wolf Among Us. I hope that's my favorite Telltale game. Yeah. Uh, but Game of Thrones. Yeah. It's pretty mediocre uh, throughout. Mm. But the final episode of Game of Thrones. Is one of the best episodes Telltale has ever done. Really? Yeah, it's very impressive. Like it was like one of those really good ge real Game of Thrones TV show series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was one like one of those where I, where you're like, holy shit, this is great. Like the Red Wedding. Oh yeah. You know, it's fucking amazing, and uh, the f the season is uh, the game entirely not that great, but the final episode. Like makes up for all of it. It's worth going through, you know, because mm. it's not bad throughout. Throughout, it just uh, it's uh, it's not it's memorable. No, it's not that memorable. Memorable, but la 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 la. then the final episode, it's it's all worth it. It's really good. Um, but yeah, that's Telltale. I've talked so much about that right now. <laughs> uh, I didn't play Minecraft. If you, no one heard Do me before, I think you said it like ten times now. Yeah, it's important. I don't know. Maybe so is it that bad? Tell my I haven't played. <laughs> well, what have you what you've heard of it? I haven't really heard anything. Really? I I haven't listened. Why do you ref refuse to play it then? It's Minecraft. Because it's Minecraft, <laughs> man. I'm really I I became tired of Minecraft long ago, but I just can't e enjoy Minecraft oh, at all. You. Like I I see it, and, and I just immediately just. Lose a lot of interest in just you games. You puke. <laughs> <laughs> like Almost. see Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I see it and I'm like, I just get down. Like I'm just, I've you seen this. Get depressed. I've seen so much <laughs> of this. I've, I've s watched other people play it. I played it, and I just don't give a shit about it. They could do whatever the fuck they want for Minecraft. And they have. Yeah, and they have, and I just don't care, even if it's very impressive. Like the fucking VR Minecraft. Oh my god, that looks kind of <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what? You mean the one where the the table becomes Minecraft? Oh no, no, no. Because that's uh, that was like the most impressive thing. I've I seen. haven't seen it. I just thought Minecraft VR sounded stupid. Mm. Yeah, but you you know which one I remember. No. Uh, you don't? Yeah. Oh yes, you do. It's an E three. We have watched the. E3s. Then I probably don't remember it. Yeah, it's uh, it's Minecraft, and they put on a table. There's a table and a guy puts on uh, a fucking headset or something. Did he? I don't remember. Anyway, there's a table, uh, yeah. just a normal, like this table. Okay, yeah. And he's like, launch Minecraft. And the entire table builds up to a Minecraft. Cool. And then you can walk around it, just look. And it's just a normal table. It just put the game on whatever surface you're aiming it at. So you're just looking at the table, then you can walk around and look under like, oh, there's diamond down here and That's let's build cool. something like this, like like Lego in virtual reality or something. Hmm. Um, I wonder if Lego will do that. <laughs> they probably <laughs> will. I ah! An idea. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it looked really cool, but still it's like, it's Minecraft and I just don't, I can't enjoy it. I just don't at give it. up. Uh. I just don't give up. That's an Eminem song. By yeah. Um, and shite. Yeah. Is there anything else? You, you Darksiders free. Oh yeah, Darksiders free. Oh, I love the first two games. 
I have never played or you have heard never played anything. I've watched the trade. Wow. When I was uh, y very young, this is the only experience I have with Darksiders. Is Tabuscus <laughs> made a literal trailer that I watched. Oh my god. From the cinematic trailer, whatever. That's all I know from Darksiders. Really? Yeah, that's all I know. I have no idea what it is. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? So perhaps I should play so you can talk. Because I have die. talked, on, I don't care. And you die. Maybe. Just you kill someone and you get up. Don't they have a lot of health? Well, you do 227k damage. <laughs> what the hell? How is he not dead? There we go. Uh, press uh, left. Oh god, I hate. Left button. Left button. Two. Left button. Of all the left buttons. L1. L1. I was speaking to you in Xbox terms. The left buttons? Yeah, isn't that left trigger and left button in Xbox? Xbox? Well, I've, I've never called it... L1! LB, I'll call it. I've never called it left well, button. I, maybe that's what the B is, actually. LB, press LB! Yeah, then that's... Press LB! Why? Because <laughs> you get full health. No. Oh. And you can do so much more damage. Darksiders, for fuck's sakes. Yes, Darksiders. I I'm haven't seen the trailers yet. Okay, I'd for the third one, yeah. For the third one, no. I've only seen that there's go that you can pre-order it now, but I'm waiting to E3 to see if they show more. Mm. So that's who oh, I'm hoping for that. Well, what 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 is it? It's a. It's a, it's, a, it's an. I have no idea what it is. It's an uh, RPG-ish game. Like Fable. Like Fable, ah. you don't really equip armor as much. Well, you do in the second game, but it's more. It's a lot like. Oh, what can I? What's the car to? you parked here? A oh, little blow up. Oh. And that's a sniper. Well, um, what can I compare oh. it to except Fable? <sighs> oh my god! The old God of War games. Have you played those? Yeah, I played some of the first. Yeah. And the uh, Dante's Inferno. Yeah, uh, the first game is more like that. Like an action adventure kind of game. Okay. Or uh, like the Devil oh. May Cry kind of games. Yeah, I was just thinking like a Devil May Cry yeah. game. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fun. Okay. Kind of, it's a, it, it's, it's a mixed bag. It's I, fi I, I think it's fun. I, I really like it. Okay. But it's kind of a mixed bag because it's dis uh, disappointing in some ways and yeah. But the second game is better. And you get to play as my favorite of the apocalypses, a death. A death? Death. You get to play as death. You get to play as the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Ah. In the first game you play as war, the second game death, and I don't know which one. The third, I'm guessing famine? I don't know, it's a, sh it's, it's a girl. I don't, want, I don't know. I don't know which, which she is. But, yeah, I'm excited about it. And it's kind of funny because... The guys who made Darksiders, yeah, with the first game. After that, they they went bankrupt. Some other company bought bought the, uh, I think it's like this at least. Yeah. Some other company bought Darksiders, made that game or Darksiders two. Oh, yeah. Bought they bought the license, and then, then they went back bankrupt, and another company bought the Darksiders license. Okay, so the third one is by someone else. I think it's like this. I I know one. I know it. Uh, they sold the Dark Side's license like one or two or three times. But I don't know the order. I think it's that order. But it's, it's kind of fun. Because three, three dis different developers made three different games in that case. Are they all, all the games like similar? Or yeah, they're, 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 or they're in the same genre. RPG. RPG action adventure Dante's Inferno. Uh, uh, Devil May Cry ish. Okay. Yeah, they have some RPG element. Uh, like the first, the second one has the first one as well. You get you get new abilities and whatnot. Well, what makes it different from just God of War? Like, what makes this one good? God of War is like execution, violence. Well, God of War is better. Got you killing gods, which is yeah. and climbing, you know, climbing giants and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what makes what's good about this Dark Shadow Two thing? Uh, it's it's a kind of this, it's a bit of the same thing really. He also you, kills gods. You, I yes, he kills godish beings. Uh -huh. It's not really gods. It's not a pantheon. It's it's more uh, modern modern religion. 
You know, Wonder. angels and demons and whatnot. So Dante's Inferno. Kinda, yeah. Except and he's not in hell. Fourth horse, four horsemen of the apocalypse, Satan and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, other known f figures. It's, it's been a while since I played it. it w which is better, Dante's Inferno or... Uh. Since they're both the same angels shit. Oh god, I... I thing, the thing is, I only see Dante's Inferno as a God of War clone. I'd say Darksiders 2 is better. And you don't see that as a God of War clone? It, it, well, Dante's Inferno is like a straight co copy-paste. Darksiders 2 do a little bit of their own thing with a, f a few customization, custom customizable options. Hmm. If you get, get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. What are what other games are on E3? Well, I have to say though, sh wouldn't you love Bayonetta, since that's like the god of those games, uh, like god of the god of wars. God of the god of wars. <laughs> like, well, well, but Bayonetta, uh, like, I've but seriously, Bayonetta it. is uh, supposed to well, be like I've super good. I thought about good. it. I thought about it. I also thought about. I've never played a Devil May Cry game either. Yeah, but Bayonetta has. Supposed to be well. Bayonetta is basically Bayonetta is basically the female version of Devil May Cry, but a lot of more combos. Yeah, and Bayonetta has a higher rating. Yeah, as being better. What? Really? Um. Yeah. Uh, based You're guessing or? Well, based on the latest games, like Bayonetta one and two, both have great fucking scores. Well, almost ten out of tens completely. The thing is, but Devil May Cry does not. The thing is, um. Bayonetta 2 is only for the Wii U and Nintendo. Bayonetta 1, I don't know. Hmm. What the? Wait. Uh, Venta! Uh, ba did you say Bayonetta 2 is only for the Wii U and... I I would well, the Switch, it's definitely... Yeah, and we don't have either of those, so... Yeah, but why don't get a Switch? <laughs> yeah, you, you can pay for it, sure. Yeah. I love Switch. Yeah, I have never sure, you buy it. I bought the PS4. I want to fucking play this Zelda game that everyone oh loves. God. Yes, the Zelda game. It's supposed to be the best amazing shit ever. And, and then there's Mario. Yeah. And then there's... Then buy a freaking Switch. They're expensive. And I'm buying a new computer, so... And I'm not gonna buy it. I have my PS4. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like... It, since Bayonetta is supposed to be, like, the best... Well, I bought the PS4 to play God of War, sure, but I'm not gonna yeah. buy a Switch to play... Yeah, but God of Bayonetta. War is not, you know, the old God of Wars. But it's better. Yeah, but it's not, they're, they're not the same games. The, no. It's like, uh, you know, no. No, no. That's I not. Know. But if you like the, the, the old type of game, mean gameplay, mm. then, you know, Bayonetta is the modern God of War that well, everyone loves. Well, well. Yeah, well. Talk about childhood memory lane, you know. I got nostalgia for the God of War main. What? Nostalgia. Yeah. For God of War. And Bayonetta will like increase that by being <laughs> better than those old. Are you saying that Bayonetta is better than God of I'm War? No, I've never played it. <laughs> I have no idea. Then don't make such claims, man. Cause God of War. Oh, God of War, in my heart. Well, Bayonetta. But still, E3. 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 Yeah. Be Fallout. Fallout 76. 76. Do you know what the fuck that is? <laughs> I have no idea. Because I have guesses and that's it. And that's like, it's gonna be like something well, before, uh, something so that will not... When did the God of Fallout 4 came, come out? 2015. So three years ago. Yeah. That's, I mean, if they weren't wanted to make a new Fallout, that's adequate amount of time to make How a new Fallout. How long did it take for f New Vegas to come out after Fallout 3? I don't know. Okay. But I know. But since they, they, they're using the le they're using the same engine. Yeah. As Fallout 4. Do you know that? It looked like it. Yeah, probably. So uh, from the the teaser trailer I saw. Yeah. Uh, so they don't they don't have to develop a new engine engine, and they already have have all the models and whatnot. Maybe just a few upgrades and tweaks and and that. So three years development time. Isn't that crazy idea, idea of a f new full-fledged Fallout game? Mm. Well, full-fledged... Well, I, I I think it's gonna be a full-fledged... Would you actually. call New Vegas a full-fledged Fallout yeah. game? Yeah! Oh. Mm. 
That's the first Fall game I played. Oh, well, okay. I ha I well, never I never uh. played the third one to finish. I played like bits and pieces of it because I never owned it myself. Mm. But I own New Vegas and I played like 10 times, 20 times. Oh. Yeah. And uh, Fallout 4, I never finished. <laughs> N neither did I. It was. When just I get my new so computer, however, I will fucking. It was so monotonous. Uh, explain so, yourself. Uh, I mean, Fallout 3 and I Fallout New Vegas. I would say it was uninteresting. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't give a shit about anyone. And the, like, I, I mean, no one. the environment and whatnot, they were great, but it, w it didn't have the same depth as the other games. Yeah, and the other games my f one of my favorite things about Fallout 3 oh, right. or <laughs> New Vegas so is uh, the freaking morale system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love being good or bad. You know? Yeah, that's that's one of the best aspects of the game. Yeah, like you know, in Fallout 3, you can. If you go super evil in the beginning, yeah. you will nuke a part of the world. And then uh, fuck yourself up. Because you can't do any more quests. Yeah. I'll let, I, I think if you have done the quest you did there, you can continue. Well, maybe. Uh, but uh, yeah, like, and that's just so fucking cool. While in, uh, while in Fallout 4, I don't even remember. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you could choose between. Uh, I remember, like the one choice, other than s accepting or declining quests, yeah. were like um, these freaking uh, which uh, e bad guy will you join or whatever. Oh yeah. The Institute, the Brotherhood of Steel, the Railroad, the Minutemen. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, well, maybe that was all of them. Actually, that was all of them. Uh, but in the end, it felt like. I didn't give the a same shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I don't give a shit about any of these factions. Like, yeah, yeah. W like, once like a rebel group, and I'm like, you know, I love an underdog rebel group. Yeah. And then we have the Minutemen, who are the two good two shoes, bad good guys. They're, they're basically boy scouts. Oh, that's that's who you're building com uh, settlements for. Yeah. The settlement is in oh need of help. The settlement is in need of help. I, I, never I never understood that. Because I got the like twice during my 72 hour playthrough. Every I got the, time like, I went twice. back to Sanctuary, he's, he's like, A settlement needs help. Go to that settlement. A settlement really? needs help. Go I to that settlement. I A mean, settlement needs help. I mean, I, on my Pip Boy, I would see like who's in danger and who's yeah, not. Yeah. And but did I you ever go, go back to Sanctuary? Yeah, many times. Yeah. I, he never. He never. Every twice. Like twice. Every time I remember I went thinking, back. like, there he said it. Finally, I hear this thing everyone's talking about all the time. Every time but it was so. I it went back. He was like, "A settlement need help." I was like, "Shut the fuck up, man!" Yeah, that's true. Please, please just die. <laughs> well, yeah, but I even though I didn't get that uh, super annoying part, apparently, yeah, I would never pick Minutemen no. unless I, unless I was like real. If I were my young self, mm. like playing Fallout 3, where I'm like, I'm gonna be the goodest good guy, good, good, uh -oh. good. Uh, because that's what you do when you're young, you know. Yeah, you pick nah, the good I hero. Didn't. I was the bad guy. <laughs> in New Vegas, in, or when? When I play, when I played oh. Fable, when I was, I don't know, ten, twelve. Yeah. Whatever. I was a bad guy. <laughs> like I killed everyone. <laughs> I ran around in the town and just killed people. Oh well. I got the okay. bad. I got the evil guy ending. Oh well, I'm. Well, now I'm thinking like when I was young. There's the. I'm thinking the age when you, my youngest age, you know, playing Grand Theft Auto, I shoot and kill everyone. I want to kill as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. When I then ra landed in Fallout 3 later on, I wanted to be the hero. Oh. And then, you know, I... Uh, yeah, you know... The, when, the when age difference. When I play, played Fallout, Fallout New Vegas for the first time, yeah. I finished it, I didn't play the hero. I was like, you, you can choose. Have you played... Uh, could you Could you be a wait. hero? Could you, did you play uh, Fallout New Vegas yeah. to the end? Yeah, yeah. There Most were like ends. four or five choices in the end, right? Only? Uh, I felt like there was NCR, so many. NCR, take over, take over the, yeah, but take over yourself, help Mr. House, I think it was Mr. House. Yeah, something. Mr. No, Mr. New Vegas and uh, uh, Caesar. Oh, Caesar. But, the, but then there were like ten different choices on how or on what. Well, yeah, but the things. End, but there were know. four different ways. To, uh, Press LB, come on. 
thank you. Uh, four different ways you could uh, do the ending. I chose to take over the world. I was like, bitch, this place is mine. Mm. Yeah, I think I did that too. But that's because I thought that I would be a much greater leader than anyone else I had met in the world. <laughs> I just did it because I wanted to own the world. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bitch, this shit mine now. I was you like, just get the fuck out of here. We have some crazy fucks, some crazy fucks and a robot. I'm and like, I can do this, I can rule the world. Why the I don't have to rule, I can just go sit in my pleasure palace. I, uh, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. fourth one was. God, is there uh, enemies fucking everywhere in this game? Yeah. Like it at first, I was trying to look for them. It was kind of nice I've though in the beginning of the fourth one, when you were before the the bombs. Yeah, you yeah. You got to see how the civil how they lived. I mean, mm. that was kind of. When you're running to the vault. Yeah, that was kind of nice actually. Yeah, I I was like. This is a good intro, a good yeah. start to a story. That's a good and intro. And then it just fucking... Then it went to shit. I was like, what the... F it had one good twist. Hmm? Do you remember the twist? That your son is the old guy? And that... Uh, well, you don't meet him until he tells you that. So you don't know the old guy from before. Wait, wait, wait. wait. The, the twist is that the, the old guy is your son. Well, and the son you fought was your son is... Um, uh, well, that's that whatever they call it. But well, that's <laughs> that's the wrong focus on the twist. The twist is that you thought your son had been taken and you had then woken up, but uh. you had woken up like 50, 80 years later oh, or something. That that's I, the twist. I realized that from the beginning. You did? I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna, oh, they're taking my son and then I'm gonna sleep for another twenty or thirty years. That was that was my first thought when I went in the sleep chamber. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, then you missed the twist. No, I was too good for the twist. Oh, oh, oh. that's one way to look at it. I'm I'm too good. I'm j I'm too fucking I'm too perfect. fabulous. God yeah, damn, they had no chance. Battery. battery on my phone. Yep. But I'm charging. Oh, I was. <laughs> Could you plug in the charger? <laughs> Fast as fuck. 